welcome class 7 this is the continuation video of the chapter computer virus of the book icc understanding computer studies class 7 in this video we will start from types of virus let's start types of viruses viruses can be classified into two categories on the basis of their behavior general infector and system infector so viruses are of mainly two types general infector and system infector general infector further classified into worm trojan bomb and system infectors can be classified into boot sector virus program virus macrovirus stealth virus now we will discuss general infected virus in detail first worm these viruses are programs which don't affect the functioning of the system once these viruses enter they attack the security zone of the computer system as a result they just keep on replicating themselves in the disk they also spread through email while using internet next page they use the address book of the system to send themselves through emails these viruses drastically decrease the available memory of the system example are swen scalper etc so what is worm worm is a computer virus that attacks the security zone of the computer system it also replicates itself in the disk and spread through email by using your address book in the system while replicating it uses the huge memory space as a result we face the decrease of available memory examples are swen scalper etc next trojan these viruses are better known as trojan horses so trojan horses is the full form of trojan they are also computer programs but destructive in nature as usual uh, all viruses are destructive in nature so trojan also destructive in nature they move around the valid program and get executed with a flashy opening screen for example they attach to the word processor without the user's knowledge and execute whenever the document is opened they usually get into the system through email attachments with fascinating names once you open the email they become active in the background and slowly start deleting or correcting the files inside the system so what is trojan horse trojan horse also a computer virus program that appears as a useful software and spread through email attachments when the user open the email attachment it gets into your system and become active in the background and slowly start destroying the file inside the system an example is given in this paragraph that they attach themselves to the word processor without user's intervention and execute whenever the word file is opened next one more characteristic of trojan horse is they have no way to replicate automatically and can spread only through user action such as opening an email attachment or downloading and running a file from the internet means one more characteristic of uh, trojan horse is they cannot replicate itself they only spread through user interaction 
like opening an email attachment or downloading a file or running a file from the internet etc. Examples are backdoor, knocker etc. This Trojan horse virus is so dangerous that, that if it enters your system, it allows an unknown person to access your system remotely uh, without your intervention. So it is very dangerous. Next, bomb. Bomb. As the name suggests, the explosion takes place in the form of a sudden disaster into the system. This virus remains inactive for a long time and wait for a specific data or specific event for the disaster. For example, Friday 13, wait for the day and date Friday the 13th and you will notice that all the files have been deleted from the system. There are many viruses that is Jerusalem B, Saturday the 14th, Happy Birthday 30, Tuesday the 13th, etc. So what is BOM? BOM is also a computer virus, but it remains inactive for a long time and wait for a specific date or specific event. When that event happens or when that day comes, it gets activated and start destroying. Example Friday 13. When the uh, 13 Friday date is come, it gets activated and starts deleting all the files of your system. The other examples of bomb virus are Jerusalem B, Saturday the 14th, Happy Birthday 30, Tuesday the 13th. Here the discussion of general infector is complete. In the next video, we will start from system infectors. Bye.